Hey guys, it's your best five friends. I'm Kelsey. This is Rachel. Rachel, the world awaits John Jones versus Francis Nagano. The John Jones of MMA versus the Mike Tyson of MMA. Okay. <laughs> Get it? Because he's John Jones. I just don't see John Jones coming up and wait and being awesome. Well, here's the thing about that. What are your thoughts on that? John Jones is basically never lost a fight, right? Like he's he's what is he? he's got technically has one loss on his record. But, like, he was winning that fight, and it was... Right. But people have said recently he hasn't looked, like, super great at light heavyweight. And so I'm like, well, you want to go up and fight He has been tested. Like, Dominique Reyes definitely tested him in the last fight at UFC 247. Some people thought Reyes deserved the win. But I think, really, what it is is that people are used to seeing Jones completely mm -hmm. dominate, and he didn't do that, right? right? I think yeah. it was a close, good fight. Um, I see a guy... I mean, this makes sense to me. I think that you... I think that it's an awesome move for John Jones because, I mean, imagine moving up and taking on. You said that you saw a, a line out there from Argentina that has would have John Jones a, a it's underdog, an underdog, yeah, against this big scary guy that it, it looks like nobody else wants to fight, and him moving up to take on this guy. And if he can win that fight, which he totally can, he can win that fight, but it's a it's a scary proposition. I, I love to see fighters do this type of thing. So on one hand, I I read, you know, John Jones hasn't looked good in his recent fights. Um, I don't, so I'm like, well, why would you go up and wait and, like, be able to, like, just overpower this giant of well, a man in gonna, Francis Nagano? He's not going to be able to overpower him. But, I mean, are you going to stop the Mack truck that is him, like, going to knock, like, who's been knocking people out? On the other hand, I feel like I haven't seen Francis Nagano like outside of a few seconds of a round yet. You know what I mean? So I feel like I don't really have a good gauge on what he can do against somebody who would come in with a lot more skill. Yeah. I think we could all agree John Jones has a lot of skill. Yeah, so it really, like, it, they both come in. I question really both guys in, like, I'm like, Francis, is this really the next step for you? And then John Jones, I'm like, is well, this really the next step for you? Nagano wants to fight. He, he wants to fight for the heavyweight championship, which he deserves. But he's not going to get that fight until uh, Stipe and Cormier figure out their deal. They weren't going to make that trilogy. So it does make sense that, yeah, Francis wants to fight. John Jones is one of the biggest stars in the sport. Francis is great. Well, what at, happens if he loses? Francis is great at steamrolling people with yeah. his incredible athleticism. That's something that no heavyweight's been able to figure out. John Jones has an absurd level of skill, and he's a great athlete. So I wonder. I don't. I mean, I don't know who wins the fight. Basically, I, guess I don't know I, who wins the fight. I want to see Francis like in three rounds. I want to see him fight Hold for on. three rounds. He's fought three rounds before, though. You're, you haven't seen. You've seen in the new. This new reiteration of Francis Nagano. You want to see, yeah, because you've seen he's won four straight fights by first round knockout. So you haven't seen this guy that maybe has more skills since his two losses, since he lost his two fights. Right. Maybe he has more skills, but we haven't really had to see him because he just steamrolls everybody. Exactly. So you want to see that? Well, John Jones so maybe I, can give you that. Well, I question like, do you jump like all the way to John Jones? You know, it was like over in boxing, Mikey Garcia. Went up and wait and immediately fought Earl Spence. And I was like, um, could we maybe see you against somebody else first? Because I really want the best yeah, of the best. And missing, if people fight things... You're missing the point. It's different because take he is not... fights too soon. He's not the little guy. He's the big guy. Well, I'm just saying when you take fights too soon, I want to see you grow a little bit more. So it's like looking at somebody like Deontay Wilder, also in boxing, and him, how his, his team took him more slowly. If he would have fought, like the big names like right out the gate or right when he got popular because of his like tremendous power we might not have gotten the wilder we ended up getting being one of the top three heavyweight you know boxers in the world and so that's what concerns me with somebody like francis naganu like i really want to see you be the best that you can be in the octagon so like grow in that way that's going to give me that because if you keep if you keep if you go too hard, you know, too big, too soon, then you're not going to get those opportunities. Yeah, he he's what? He needs big fights. He's not 20, right? This okay. guy's yeah, he's, he's an older fighter who has, ha, who needs big fights now. 
he deserves to fight Stipe, but he or the winner. He deserves definitely to fight the winner of Miocic versus Cormier three whenever that happens. But in the meantime, fighting John Jones, it's really a, I feel like it's a no lose situation because maybe John Jones, maybe John Jones beats you, and if he beats you, John Jones arguably the best MMA fighter ever. So it's, I don't think it's that big. You would learn a lot, and I guarantee that if, if John Jones beats. Francis Nagano, he took him three rounds and showed Francis Nagano all sorts of things that he needs to work on, which is exactly what happened the first time he lost to Stipe, right? Stipe mm -hmm. took him to the ground just seemingly at will. I think it would help him. It would also be a lot of money for him. And you know what? I don't know. He's such a big, scary, powerful guy. He definitely, I mean, he's favored by the bookies. That says something. Yeah, yeah, like, that's true. That says something. John Jones beats Francis. Does he fight the winner of Stipe Cormier? Well, he's already beat the tar out of Cormier, <laughs> so I think if it's Stipe, maybe, but maybe, maybe not. I don't know. John Jones does whatever John Jones wants to do. Because yeah. If it he, seems to me he might be in a place in his career where he can kind of, like, do what he wants. Yeah. He's not, like, doesn't necessarily have to clean out divisions or weight classes and stuff like that. Yeah, because he's already cleaned out his weight class, like, twice over now. So what is he supposed to do? He should do whatever he wants, probably. I will say this. So at the beginning, I said I had a hard time seeing John Jones come up and defeat Francis. I will say this. Maybe John Jones has gotten kind of bored in the light heavyweight yeah. division. He's, and he's... sometimes doing something new, coming up and weight, yeah. you can get reinvigorated with what you need to do, what you want to do, and have motivation and look like a brand new fighter, you know? Yeah, and like, if you follow him on social media, like, he seems to already be, like, back at hitting the weights and, like, talking about how he wants oh, to yeah? get better. Like, I feel like he's Michael Jordan himself, right? He's... You know, inventing slights. This whole thing with Francis and him on, online was it? He wasn't really sliding or whatever. But John Jones, John is looking for that edge, I think. So I don't know. I'm excited for the fight if it happens. It I would like, be real exciting. I yeah. like both the fighters. I hope. I mean, regardless, of, let's see them back in the octagon soon, huh? It'd be a huge fight. Yeah. They could make a do it at Fight Island. They could invite Kelsey and Rachel there, and we would go. Can we bring our dogs? What? Our dogs can't go on a trip. Hey, with enough money, we can make it happen. I don't know how we would do that. And with no money, you can like, comment, and subscribe. I mean, I guess. I guess you need money for your internet, but like, stay outside Starbucks. I've totally <laughs> done that. I've sat outside Starbucks and used their end Wi-Fi. While you drink your personal water from home. <laughs> <you're> like, <laughs> I food. Do. Young yeah. food. I'm, plenty of people do that. People go in there all the time to order stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. All right. Okay. Okay, then. <laughs>